Today's video is sponsored by Squarespace, a website building tool that allows you to turn your dream into a reality. We are continuing on with our trend of mixing things up on this channel today, so we're gonna be making some strawberry marshmallow brownie bottom squares. That was a mouthful. Now, before we get stuck into it, I know that you guys have been enjoying me mixing things up on this channel. I really appreciate that you guys have been leaving your suggestions uh, on every video as well. I'd love for you guys to continue doing that because I wanna make more of what you want me to make on this channel. So if there's something you want me to teach you how to make, leave your suggestions in the comments down below. Today, we're gonna to be making marshmallows from scratch. If you've never made your own marshmallows before, I think it's better than store-bought marshmallows because these are super delicate and soft and they melt in your mouth. You don't need a candy thermometer for these marshmallows. They're really easy to make. We're gonna begin with making the brownies first. So add half of your chalk chips into a microwave-safe bowl. We're gonna melt that for 30 seconds at a time, mixing each time until it's nice and smooth. Set that aside to cool down. We're gonna add some sugar and melted butter to a large mixing bowl, and we're gonna mix that using a hand mixer until everything is well combined. Next, we're gonna add our egg and vanilla extract, and we're going to mix that until everything is nice and fluffy and pale. Let's add that melted and cooled down chocolate in there and mix it until everything is well combined. add our flour and salt and cocoa powder. And then you wanna give it a final mix. Now I've got a nine inch by nine inch square baking tin and we're gonna spray it with some oil and line the bottom and sides with some baking paper. Add your brownie mixture in there and use a small offset spatula or spoon to smoothen it out evenly. Let's sprinkle the other half of those chalk chips on top before we bake it for about 30 minutes. Then we're gonna let it cool down completely. The marshmallow, it's so easy to make guys. Let's begin by adding some water and gelatin into a small mixing bowl. So I'm using powdered gelatin today. You can find this in your local supermarket. You wanna use a fork to mix it until everything is really well combined. We're gonna set this aside for about five minutes to bloom. Now, bloom means that we're allowing the gelatin to soak in that water. Now, we're gonna be making a very simple syrup. And again, you don't need a candy thermometer for this. It's all about just melting the sugar in some water. So I'm using a saucepan to do this, but I've actually made this recipe just using the microwave. So we're gonna add our water and sugar into a small saucepan. Whisk that together until everything is melted. Then you're going to add your gelatin in there and you're going to whisk that until that's completely melted as well. This mixture is quite hot. We wanna let it cool down for about 30 minutes. Then we're gonna add it into Peggy, my stand mixer. If you don't have your own Peggy, you can just use a hand mixer. I'm gonna fit her with the whisk attachment and I'm gonna pour that cool down mixture in there. We're gonna whisk that on high speed for about 10 minutes. Now what's cool about this guys is that it actually whips up like a meringue. So you know it's done when it's thick and glossy. At about the four minute mark, you wanna add some strawberry flavoring in there and some pink fruit gel. We're gonna add that fluffy marshmallow mixture on top of that cool down brownie layer and we're gonna use a small offset spatula to smoothen it out. Once you've got that nice and smooth, I actually like to make it look a little bit rough, like you're bouncing on marshmallow clouds. We're gonna add some sprinkles on top of there, so some rainbow sprinkles. Then you wanna let this set in the fridge for a couple hours. To before you slice it up. Now, the best way to slice this up is actually using a large, sharp knife. If you're a kid, make sure you've got a parent helping you with this part. You want to kind of heat your knife under some hot water, run it under the tap to do that. Dry it off with a towel and then slice up your bars.
Thank you so much for watching guys. If you enjoyed watching this video, I'm glad that you did. You're gonna find the recipe on my website, thescrandline.com, if you wanna make these this weekend. Would you like to turn your dream into reality? Well, you can with Squarespace, because they allow you to launch your passion project. Are you looking to start a new business or showcase your talent? Do you want to create content or do you wanna sell products or more? Well, you can do all of that with Squarespace. They have beautiful templates created by world-class designers and the ability to customize just about anything with a few clicks so you can create a beautiful website all by yourself. In fact, my sister just started her own business. She has two little boys at home and she has been trying to find natural alternatives to keeping them healthy and safe around the house. So she jumped on squarespace.com and within a few minutes, she had created an account and chosen one of the many free templates. Everything is optimized for mobile right out of the box and there's nothing to patch or upgrade ever. Buying domains is super simple and you'll get the help you need with Squarespace's 24-7 award-winning customer support. All images hosted on Squarespace can be edited directly within your browser using Squarespace's built-in image editor. Squarespace allow you to add an open table block to any page so visitors can make a reservation for your restaurant directly from your website. So that way you can allow your website to handle that side of your business efficiently. Keep in touch with your website visitors by sending out email updates on all your latest offers and events. Go to squarespace.com forward slash the scran line when you're ready to launch and use the offer code the scran line to get 10% off your first purchase of a domain or website. That offer code again is the scran line. Thank you so much to everyone for the love and support in the comments. If you have a suggestions on what you'd like to see next, leave it in the comments down below. Thank you so much for watching guys. I'll see you all on the next episode of The Scram Line.